We're back with another reason why you don't throw the aerosol can into the fire. This time uh, a couple three people asked to see this without the hood over top of it. As it's just rained and uh, we're having even more rain come in we thought we'd go ahead and do this. Alright so the aerosol can is tucked down within the wood inside of our retort and we're going to go ahead and ignite the wood on very very top. step back a little bit. Here again the retort is used to manufacture charcoal. It's a combustion of wood in a contained area. The wood that's in there is uh, wood shavings and uh, what I call slats from uh, pallet making. No, no kind of treated wood. Mostly pine and uh, red oak. Normally I have a uh, hood that goes over it, it gets down to a nice bright orange in the uh, observation holes at the bottom and then I shut off all the air to it and let it cool and then I have a nice uh, thing of charcoal. Last video we had to wait about seven minutes for it to, uh, for the can, which by the way is empty. Uh, to combust. I don't think we're going to have to wait nearly as long this time. But I will post at the beginning of the video how when to uh, advance the where to advance the uh, viewing to. And that, therefore, is an object lesson as to why you do not put an aerosol can in a combustible environment. <clears throat> Thank you for watching.